welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this jp infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a python project which is entitled as face recognition based attendance system using machine learning so in this project we will be training our human face using the machine learning technique and after that the face will be recognized and the attendance will be marked on the system so basically in the existing system we all know that the attendance is being done manually or it may be using a uh, physical devices like RFID or tags like that but here we are not going to use any kind of hardware only using a web camera we are going to make the face recognition and attendance is being marked in it and the algorithm or model that we have used in this face recognition attendance system using machine learning is k neighbors classifier and before execution make sure that you have fulfilled the requirement that is mentioned in the requirements file with exact python version and the libraries required so just copy the source code location go to your command prompt go to the source code location type python app.py and click enter now kindly wait for a few minutes now you can just copy this url go to any of your browser i'm going to firefox just paste the URL that we have copied and now you can see the home screen will come to the project with the project title face recognition with attendance system using machine learning and just click this login menu and it will be navigated to the login page and kindly note that this is a static login page because we have not used any database in the project so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and then click login and can see the login success message and click OK. Now it will be navigated to the page where you need to add the image. So before that, in the attendance folder, you can find uh, uh, details like attendance 11, 12, or output this kind of thing. So just you can click and open it. So you can see this is empty now, this CSV file. So you can see this is empty. And let me show you after marking that lens. So now here you can see the date and time is being displayed first part that is 12th November 2022 and time is 740 and this is for adding a new user. So let me add the new user so enter the username so let me enter the username as Jaya Rakash now enter the user ID as so let me enter the ID as 1 and now you can see total number of users in the database is nil so there is no any data there are users in the database so now let me click the submit button and now make sure that your web camera is connected before executing the project so now you can see this window here so just click it so here you can see adding the new user and here you can see the images captured is 11 by 500 so here you can see th th it will be taking 500 images of the new user because to train up the system in various positions and angles and surely it takes uh, some time around 10 to 15 minutes depending upon your system so kindly you need to wait for it So if there is no image it will not be captured you can see this now you can see the image is not captured and now if you see if I take the hand it has been captured and even if it is partial it will not take and you can see automatically when I come back the image started capturing so now let me pause this video and come back and it is completed so almost 10 minutes now it is going to complete the image training capture part
so now it is completed so once after completed you can see the number of users in the database is been updated now in the project folder you can see the folder called static if you go into that you can see the folder called phases where you can see the folders of the name that we have trained up with so here you can see the jayaprakash one so if you just click this folder you can see all the images that has been captured with all the 500 images has been saved in it so here you can see all the images that is being used for training process has been saved in this folder of it now let me take the attendance by clicking the take that attendance menu just click this take the attendance menu and just click this take attendance here and make sure that your web camera is connected and here you can see the ID Jayaprakash has been name has been entered and ID is one has been entered now just click the Q button in the keyboard so once if you click this Q button in the keyboard it will be closed and now you can see the attendance result here so here you can see the serial number is one and you can see the name the ID and what is the time of that none that has been registered and what is the date of it and here you can see the full details once if you click this full details you can see the complete details now I have taken only one utterance if I am if that is another person those attendance details will be updated here and day wise details will be updated there and now here in the attendance folder earlier it was empty now let me see you can say check this now it is updated as the name roll number time and date today so this we have done the uh, this attendance we have kept as a generalized one because this can be used for the school or college or uh, company so anything so for that reason we have not entered uh, the details like if it is a school we can enter like subject of co college what is the degree and if it is an office you need to enter what is the department kind of thing so that those kind of details is not available here this is a generalized kind of attendance system where you can mark the attendance of it so let me show you the attendance by taking tomorrow now let me log out so now i am recording this video after two days that is on 14th november now let us see what happens now let us just copy the url go to any of your browser and paste the url again Now let me log in again. And after entering the credentials, now again we need no need to add the image because we have already added the image. So just go to the next process of taking the attendance. So take, click this menu, take the attendance. Make sure that your web camera is connected to your PC. Now let me click this take attendance here button. So if your camera is not connected this error will be shown so make sure that your camera should be connected to your PC And now you can see the name Jayaprakash has been displayed. And let me click the Q button in the keyboard to stop the process. Now here you can see the attendance result for today is the serial number with the name ID, the time is 
117 and the date is 14 11, November 2022 now let me click this full details and now in the full details you can see already I have taken an attendance on 12th so that has been displayed and again here the 14th is being displayed and this is also will be saved as I said earlier this is will be saved in the CSV format in Excel sheet so just let me go to the attendance folder where you can see the each day attendance which has been generated for each report and now let me show you the output part where you can see this result is being exported in this CSV format if you wanted you can use this Excel sheet also and this is for the day wise and this is the complete one the output is a complete one and the date wise is like the attendance and the, uh, the date of it and in this way you can check the individual attendance but clicking this take the attendance part and also the full details you can see the full details of the attendance so this is the complete details of the attendance result and now let me log out and this is all about the project phase recognition based attendance system using machine learning and thank you for watching